On Tuesday afternoon, Jennifer Crumbly, a mother from Michigan, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the school shooting committed by her 15-year-old son. This marked the first time a parent of a school shooter has been convicted of homicide related to the violent act. The verdict came after the jury began deliberations on Monday, and it could have implications for the legal responsibility of parents of underage mass shooters in the future. Under Michigan law, the maximum sentence for involuntary manslaughter is 15 years in prison. Prosecutors accused Crumbly of gross negligence for failing to inform officials at Oxford High School that her family owned guns, including a 9mm handgun that her son Ethan had used at a shooting range shortly before the incident. The school's inquiry came after it became concerned about a macabre drawing of a gun, bullet and wounded man, accompanied by disturbing phrases on a math assignment. The thoughts won't stop, help me, the world is dead. My life is useless, the 15-year-old had written. But during a 12-minute meeting with school officials, Crumbly, 45, and her husband James, 47, who was scheduled for trial in March, had not informed the school of the weapon at home and Ethan was allowed to stay in school. Later that day, on November 30, 2021, Ethan retrieved the gun and 50 rounds of ammunition from his backpack and opened fire, resulting in the death of four students and the injury of six others, including a teacher. The prosecutor, Karen McDonald, highlighted during closing arguments that Ethan had drawn a picture depicting his intent, pleading for help. McDonald claimed that Jennifer knew that the gun depicted in the drawing was the same one at their home and that she was aware it was not properly stored. The prosecutor argued that Jennifer also knew about Ethan's proficiency with the gun and his access to ammunition. Furthermore, the Crumbleys were accused of disregarding their son's mental health. Prosecutors presented evidence of a journal found in Ethan's backpack in which he expressed his parents' failure to address his pleas for help. Ethan, now 17, pleaded guilty to murder and terrorism charges in 2022, acknowledging his deliberate choice to shoot other students. He is currently serving a life sentence.